Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about pay to win in Throne and Liberty. And don't worry, I know if you are judging by the title of this video, you think situation is really not good. Honestly, situation is not really that good, however, it's not also that much bad. You'll see in the next few minutes. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. As you can see, I'm already here in the game, so let's get directly to the point. Let's do some pay to win. And if you are hoping for one moment that you will be able to pay to win by using battle pass in the game, forget about that. You can spend about 16 euros or 16 dollars, you'll get some benefits from this battle pass. It's actually not that bad, however, nothing too much. You'll get some enchantment stones, some health potions. Uh, some Solant in-game currency, I'll talk about that a little bit later in a second. There is also a free part of this Battle Pass and paid, right? So from Battle Pass, I can only assume also for global release of Throne and Liberty, it will be something useful to have, it's not that expensive, but is it really paid to win? Battle Pass, absolutely not. It will help you a little bit uh, during your leveling process, don't worry, I'll not turn this into reading session, you can see here different kind of materials, but I can tell you right away, you will not pay to win throughout Battle Pass. However, let's do some real pay to win. Let's go here to Marketplace. So this is basically Marketplace which you can use in the game. And here in the upper corner, you can see here in the upper part of the screen, you can see here Lucent. In-game currency which you can buy with real money. So you can swipe your credit card, you can buy this Lucent. And after that, you come here and you can buy, you can see here, weapon, armor, accessories, directly with this Lucent in-game currency. I know what you are thinking right now, this is really bad, wait a second, it's getting even worse. You will notice also here another currency in the game, this is gold. So after you buy this gear, this gear, purple gear, this is currently the best in slot, best gear in the game, we have on the start gray gear, then green, blue, and on the end purple. After you buy your best in slot, uh, not actually this item here, for example, but in general, purple gear is the best gear in the game. After you buy, let's say, this purple gear, this gear in the marketplace is on zero. That means it's not upgraded or enchanted. I can show you here on this part of user interface, you will still need to upgrade and enchant your gear. Currently, I have this blue gear here. It doesn't matter. Also, for purple gear, you will need to upgrade and enchant your gear. How to do that? You will need these stones. That is easy to get. That's another story. However, you will need lots of gold. And yes, sadly, also, you can buy gold with real money. Not directly. Let me show you how. So, you can go here to Marketplace, for example. You can go here to other items. Let me show you here. You can buy, for example, for Lucent, right? You have buy Lucent already with real money. You can buy this precious marine. Then this precious marine, you can sell to NPC and get millions of gold. So can you even buy gold with real money? Yes, you can. It's not directly like gear right here in the here in the marketplace or lucent however gear however gold another income currency most important income currency in throne liberty you can also buy with gold so not only that you can buy best gear in the game with real money you can also enchant and upgrade that gear with real money so you would say man come on man this is really bad Right? This is really bad situation. You're getting best gear in the game, upgraded and enchanted with real money. Well, now story is becoming better because it's not only about the gear. It's also about two more things. First thing here, skills. To upgrade your skills in the game is very, very important. That is true power of your character. Not only gear up, okay, that is important. You also need to upgrade your skills. Now, to be able to upgrade your active and passive skills, I can show you here, you need these books. To upgrade your active skills, you need training books. And to upgrade your passive skills, you need improvement books. Now, how to get these books? 
And don't forget, this is true power, right? Because if you have skill on level one, green, that is very low. You need to have on purple. You need to update your skills. And then your character, you're getting many special effects with that, right? Your skills are becoming more powerful. That is really, that really means something, right? So how to get these books? Let me show you here. I'm here in front of this NPC. And this NPC actually is giving you option to craft books. You will need two materials. Marine which you can buy at marketplace for real money, sadly. However, this parchment, you cannot buy with real money. That's it. You need to play the game. You need to visit different kind of local and regional events. I can show you here on the map, actually, for example, every three hours in the game, there are different kind of local and regional events throughout different parts of the map. Within these events, some of these events are PvP, some of these events are not PvP. They are peaceful events. You need to collect different kind of items, collect different kind of mobs. There is a ranking list. And you can see here, one of the rewards is parchment. There are different kind of parchments, blue, green, rare. That's a story for another video. Just to let you know, you cannot buy parchment with real money. That means that you cannot upgrade your skills with real money. No way to do that. So that means, well, yeah, that you cannot pay to win. However, that's not the end of the story. There is something more. Regarding how powerful is your character in the game, what is important? Your gear, okay, you can do that by pay to win. Your skills, how much did you upgrade your skills? That you cannot pay to win. And last thing here, weapon mastery. Let me show you here what is weapon mastery. So weapon mastery actually is giving you different kind of effects on your weapon. And how are you getting this weapon mastery? There is no pay to win to do that. You need to play the game with specific weapon. The more experience you get, then you're getting these weapon mastery points and then distributing these points among these different kind of trees. All depends, do you want? Do you want to go for damage? Do you want to go for survivability? For different kind of things. These weapon masteries are really, really important. Many different effects here regarding your skills, uh, cooldowns, regarding PvP, regarding PvE, regarding health, regarding base damage, regarding mana regeneration. This is true power on the battlefield, right? So, three things, like I said, right? You have gear, you have after that upgrading skills, and you have this weapon mastery. Out of, the three, out of these three things, yes, you can, you can pay to win this first thing, your gear. You can buy gear, best in slot. You can enchant and upgrade your gear. However, regarding weapon mastery and regarding upgrading your skills, well, you cannot pay to win that. So, a situation regarding pay to win, right? Is it good? It's not really good because, yes, you can really swipe your card. It will help you a lot regarding gear. You can get directly, right? Imagine, that is actually a pretty nice advantage, right? I mean, I still didn't talk about trades. I need to mention that. Yes, you can buy best in slot. You can buy best gear in the game. After that, you can move here, right? You can enchant your gear, best gear in the game, right, to certain level. But this here, trades... Yeah, you can also pay to win this to some, to some point, not entirely, because trade system, I have explained that trade system in some other video, actually one other video on my YouTube channel maybe two weeks ago. Regarding trades, what this actually means, to be able to unlock trades on your gear part, you need duplicate items. To be able to unlock and to be able to transfer trades, you need exact duplicate item which is not easy to get. Can you pay to win that? Well, if you're lucky, if you find exactly the same item or extract that item on Marketplace, or you need to grind in the game. So, trades are not easy to set. Uh, regarding upgrading your trades, you don't need to have exact duplicate item, but you need to have item of the same type. There is a whole story about that. Just to tell you in short, can you, can you pay to win trade system? to some point. If you are lucky, if you find that duplicate item on a marketplace. If not, you need to grind the game. So, there is still much to it. However, like I said, regarding gear, yes. Regarding gear, you can do that on pay to win way. However, in generally, story is not over. What about upgrading skills? Like I said, this is very, very important. And there is no way to upgrade your skills on pay to win way. You cannot do that because improvement books and training books, you cannot buy with real money. Those materials, right? Marine, you can buy. Parchment, you cannot buy with real money. You need to play the game. And if you have low level skills, 
Well, your character will be weak. And also another system here, which I can show you, right? Another system which I can show you here, weapon mastery. No, you cannot pay to win, right? Because you need to actually play the game with your main and secondary weapon. And then you're getting this weapon mastery upgraded with different kind of points, right? You are distributing these points among these three. This is very, very important, right? Also another power of your character. It's not enough to have a good gear. It's simply not enough. You can have a good gear, but if you don't have your skills upgraded, and if you, if you don't have this weapon mastery upgraded, your character will be weak. So, can you pay to win in Throne and Liberty? Absolutely, yes. But on the end of the day, it will not matter that much if you don't actually play the game. Also, it's very important to say, I can show you here on Marketplace, that this in-game currency, I can show you here, Lucent, you can see it, right? You can also earn it in the game by selling the items on completely free-to-play way. So, for example, here, check this out. I have farmed these items and I have sell them at the marketplace. And now I'm earning, look at this, I'm earning Lucent. So, you can earn a Lucent in the game on free-to-play way and then use that Lucent to buy best gear in the game, for example. However, yes, I do understand. That doesn't mean that game is not pay to win. <laughs> that doesn't mean that that fact alone that you can earn a Lucent on free to play. Wait, that doesn't mean that you cannot swipe your card. Yes, you can swipe your card, absolutely. This is the best way how to do it, right? You don't even need to swipe much. Uh, yes, let's say a few hundred uh, euros or a few hundred dollars should give you a few thousand of these uh, Lucents and uh, that will give you a lot. That will help you a lot. You'll be able to get your full purple gear. You can see here, I didn't swipe my card here. I'm blue and green steer uh, regarding gear, right? The blue and gear gear I have in, on my character. But uh, you would be full purple. You would be full purple gear. But yeah, pay to win, absolutely. Conclusion, is thrown and liberty pay to win? Sadly, I have to admit, without any doubt, yes, you can gear up. You can swipe your card, you can get best gear in the game by swiping your card, by spending real money, buying Lucent and buying gold indirectly. I can show you how. However, story is not over regarding that. Because if you have best gear in the game, that will not help you if you didn't upgrade your skills. And that you cannot pay to win. Also, you need to have your weapon mastery on high level. That will happen during time. The more you play with that weapon, more experience you get, more points, more, more weapon mastery points, you'll be able to distribute here, right? That also, you cannot pay to win. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, title of the video sounds pretty bad, but situation is actually not that bad. So, it's kind of in the middle. So, so, pay to win, yes, but not full pay to win. Nothing like Lost Ark. For example, to clear that out. If you have ever tried to play a Lost Ark, then you know what I mean. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, now you know everything regarding pay to win in Throne Liberty. How to properly do pay to win. If you have money, real money, cash, you want to spend in the game, you can do that. However, be aware that there are some limitations regarding upgrading your skills and upgrading your weapon mastery. Well, you cannot swipe your card regarding that. You'll get best gear in the game. You'll be full purple. It will be high level of enchantment. It will have nice trades. That's very nice. You can get gold. You can get Lucent. However, upgrading skills, you cannot do that. Look at this item here. Well, this item here, for example, you can see here, right, this rare parchment. You cannot swipe your card regarding that. And also experience for, right, for weapon mastery. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, now you're fully acquainted regarding pay to win situation in Throne and Liberty. Don't forget, this is one absolutely amazing game. Even with this pay to win feature included, yes, I know it's not good, absolutely. It will be perfect that we have game which is not pay to win completely. However, that is not reality. Yes, there is some pay to win element to Throne and Liberty, but situation is actually not that bad because... You, I can repeat that a few times already. You need to upgrade your skills and weapon mastery. Without that, your, your gear will not help you. Even if you have purple gear, if you don't have upgraded skills and weapon mastery, your character will not be strong. So pay to win is there, but it's not that bad. 
Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty content in the future. See you soon.